I get on my own nerves way too much. Do what you want when you pop in. You do what you want when you pop in. And Jordan, you're not popping, so you should stop singing that song, okay? Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing my August favorites, which is crazy, because that means August is over, and that means we're back in school. I'm just as upset as you are, trust me. But I've never done one of these before, so I'm really excited to do it. It's been a crazy month, I've been out of the country, school started, and a lot's just been going on. So I'm just gonna hop right into the favorites and I hope you guys really enjoy. If you're new, please hit the button down below and subscribe, it would mean so much to me and you guys should totally join the fam. And yeah, I'm just gonna hop right into the video. So as far as skincare goes, I have three favorites for you guys. The first one is something that has changed my life. It is the Ole Hendrickson Power Peel Mask, and it's a three-step system. And there's a scrub, a lemon peel, and then a calamine mask peel. Mm. It's not a peel, it's just a mask. Jordan, get it together. It definitely made such a big difference in my skin this month when I came back from Japan. I had a rash from trying this facial cream. I was breaking out a little bit because of the airplane and the breakout when I travel. And I came back and my mom had this mask and she bought it because she doesn't have time to go to a spa because she's really busy. So I tried it and literally the next day, the next day, the next day, my skin looked so much better. My pores were so much more refined and I owe this mask my life. Like, <laughs> this is the real MVP. This is a 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a good facial mask, then you should definitely pick this up. I think it works even better than when I went to go get a facial. It's amazing. I'm gonna use this for the rest of my life now. I can never live without it. It's so good. So my next favorite, it's in my bathroom. I forgot to grab it. I'm so lazy to go get it. But I'll insert a picture somewhere. But it's the Aztec Indian Clay Healing Mask. I don't know the name. Which is crazy because I've literally been using it since the seventh grade when I saw Megan Rings talk about it in a favorites video. But that mask is the OG. It is my go to no matter what's going on, it has always solved my skincare problems. And it's a favorite this month because I didn't bring it to Japan with me, which I should have. So when I came back and I started using it again, our love was rekindled and I saw why I loved it so much. It did so much for my skin. It always clears up my breakouts and I used to have pretty bad acne and it's always helped me so much. So if you're looking for a good organic facial mask, you should definitely try that out. I always use it with water and apple cider vinegar instead of just water because it gives you a deeper cleaning feeling, but you guys should definitely check out that mask if you have problematic skin. It's a gem such a tip. For my last skincare favorite, it's something that's definitely been talked about a lot more recently and I just discovered it recently and it is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is just a travel size version because I was traveling so I needed the travel size version but this helped me a lot when I was on the plane. The airplane air is recycled air so it's really dry and my face was not feeling it so when I'd spray this on my face it took me from looking like a zombie to looking like a 12 year old you're probably thinking I don't want to look like a 12 year old which you probably won't that's just me I just look like a 12 year old when I don't have makeup on so it's such a great product it's so moisturizing and even if I want to wear face makeup which is rare but when I do, this is something that's so good to set it with and it's so organic so you don't have to worry about it reacting negatively unless you're allergic to one of the listed products, then you'd react negatively. But it's worked wonders for me. I love it so much when this runs out, which it's nothing close to, and I've been using this like a mofo. Like I've been using this like every single day for no apparent reason. But when this runs out, definitely buying the full size version. As far as beauty goes, my first favorite is lip gloss. This is just the Kate lip gloss. I picked this up in Japan and it is a Japanese brand, but I'm pretty sure you can order it online. But this shade, I don't even know what shade it is. Oh, BR1? I don't know. 
everything on the back is in Japanese but it's such a good shade for me it's a very good neutral and it looks very nude on my lips and I've been wanting to get back into lip gloss like sometimes you want your lips to be as popping as your highlight so you throw some lip gloss on the formula is not it's somewhat sticky but nothing too uncomfortable and like I said the shade just looks really good on me so this has been a favorite this month I've been wearing it literally almost every day i haven't even worn lipstick and i don't know how long so for my last beauty favorite it's just the kat von d tattoo liner in trooper which is the black color because we don't do nothing else around here this is only a favorite this month because i stepped away from it and went to tr try earth uh, okay when <laughs> you think you're good at english but no is it really your first language i don't think so the reason this is a favorite this month you guys have seen me use this before but I stepped away from it and wanted to try the Jordana Fabu liner because I heard great things about it. It's not a bad eyeliner, I just don't think it's for me. This tip is a little more flexible and that one's very stiff. And that's not how I make my wings. I tried it and then like they were not sharp enough to cut a boy with. So I wasn't a fan, so I came back to this. And again, our love rekindled. I'm kind of in a lot of love affairs right now. It's cool, it's casual. So my next favorite. In my back to school haul, you guys already saw how excited I was about these shoes. But at that point, I hadn't worn them yet. But now, having worn these, I don't know what these are called, but these are just some booties I got from ASOS and they have cutouts on the back and on the front of the toe. And they just lace up in the back. And these shoes have been my go-to. Like I'm wearing them today and I love them so much they're so comfortable unless you lace it up really tight at the back i don't recommend that because it will hurt the backs of your ankles but other than that i love them so much they're so cute they literally go with anything because they're black and brown on the heel and i just love them i don't know what i would have done without them this month because i've been wearing them all the time another favorite this month has been chokers and neckties yes jordan you're basic i know i may be basic but they're still cute, so they're favorite. This one I made, and then a couple of them I've bought, such as this one from ASOS, and then this denim one I made just out of like old fabric from some pants I thrifted. This necktie I just got from TJ Maxx. I love them. They add so much to an outfit. I feel like they can make them slightly edgy and just add such a bold accessory to the higher part of your neck. Love chokers, love anything that goes around my neck. I'm a necklace girl. I don't really like any other accessories, so necklaces for the win. And my last favorite this month are these tinted sunglasses. I picked these up at a store called Three Coins in Japan, but they sell tinted glasses literally everywhere. I've seen Selena Gomez rock some in red, which are so cool. I definitely want some, but I picked these up in yellow and then I picked them up in Pink. The main reason I got these, I mean, yeah, they're cute, but I get a really bad headache when it's overcast and when the sky is really white, grayish, and it kills me. It really upsets me. It really bothers me because then it like ruins my day because I can't look outside. I like being outside. But with these tinted sunglasses, literally everything turns slightly pink, but especially with these yellow ones, it just looks like it's sunny all the time. So then I don't get headaches. So not only are they cute, but they're helping me with my problems and you know that's all you should want in a boyfriend am i right okay just kidding i've really been enjoying these i definitely want to pick more up in some more shades and i just really love the look of them if you're lucky enough to find some like this you should pick them up they're cool they're fly I have one movie favorite this month and the movie is called Midnight in Paris. I don't watch a lot of movies, I'm not really a movie person, I don't watch Netflix or anything like that, but on the way to Japan I was watching some movies on the plane and I remember Sienna Marabella talking about that movie and I was like, oh my god, I want to watch this movie but I don't know where to find it. Found it on the airplane and that movie touched my heart. I love Paris. Never been there but I love it. I think writing is such a beautiful thing and incorporating authors like Ernest Hem Hemingway was just so cool and they included artists like Pablo Picasso and I think it was such an interesting concept for a movie and it just included so many things that I loved and fantasized about and idled so I thought like, I don't know, I felt like that movie 
was made for me and if you haven't checked it out if you are at all interested i definitely think you should it's about a guy who goes to paris with his fiance and he starts getting into these weird events and after that he starts traveling back into Paris in the 20s because he thinks it's the best time to be alive and he meets all these amazing authors and artists and just great people that you probably learned about in a history class and the way the movie plays out is just so interesting and I definitely recommend you check it out. As for music favorites, how could I not include Blonde by Frank Ocean? If you have not listened to that album, you are missing out. That album is gold literal gold another music favorite of mine is savage mode by 21 savage and metro boomin if you listen to like dirtier rap music then you'll probably enjoy it i really like it i like x and no heart totally check those songs out that's what i like to get lit to get get lit yourself get lit and one of my last music favorites this month is just the self-titled Majid Jordan album by Majid Jordan. I'm going to his concert later in the year, in like a month or two. And so they sent me a CD and I've just been listening to the CD every time I get in the car. And now I know all the words to all the songs and I've, I've just been loving it. I'm such a fan, shout out to him. I can't wait to see him in concert. And I think it's a really cool album. It definitely includes some more electronic music, but his voice can also be really soulful in some songs, so yeah. That's all the favorites I have this month for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you babies next time. Bye. Oh yeah, oh yeah.